During the first Anglo Boer War in 1880, the British had seven forts across the Republic of the Transvaal. The fort that was besieged first during this war was the one in Potchefstroom. Welcome and thanks for joining me. My forefathers are buildings in the sand. They left a thousand ruins across the land. I love them deep like salt, they feel bitter on my skin. I believe in pleasure, they believe in sin. Listen to the crying in the street, all the lonely people that you meet. Children of the change caught like rats in a trap, but the little ones are dancing to the juco box crap. On the 22nd of November 1880, the British started construction on a fort in Potterstrom, under the command of Major Thornhill. The fort is located just south of where the railway line and the N12 highway crosses one another. Now progress on this was very slow and the walls only reached the height of 1.4 meters. In early December, Colonel Winslow took over. On the 15th of December 1880, a large group of Boers, under the command of General Cronier, rode up to Potrestrum on horses. Major Thornhill, who saw them, raced back to the fort to warn his comrades. When a small group of Boers approached the fort, shots were fired. Obviously, the Boers started firing back on the fort. The fort's low walls didn't provide much protection. And on the 16th of December 1880, the Boers replaced the Union Jack at the Landrost office with a white flag and the thatched roof building was also set alight. Now the Boers demanded that the British surrender of the fort, but Colonel Winslow refused and so the siege had begun. Now the British did dug a well, but it didn't yield any water. Luckily on the 22nd of December it rained and soon afterwards a second well was dug that did yield some water. But now the problem was the food supply that was running low. On Christmas night, a group of four women and 12 children attempted to leave the fort to a nearby farm. The Boers in the night opened fire on them and a 10 year old boy was killed while a young girl was also wounded. Now the Boers also had some extra artillery. In 1877, the Boers buried some cannons and barrels in the Transvaal that the British used in the late 1700s. One of these were nicknamed Ogrit. This was also the cannon used at Blood River in 1838. Now these were exhumed and on the 1st of January 1881 the fort was heavily attacked from three sides. These skirmishes continued and the only time to bury the dead was at night. The sound of shovels and picks in the gravel ground only attracted more gunfire from the Boers. Damages to the fort were repaired at night with sandbags, but the rain made the conditions worse. On the 15th of January, the women were allowed to leave the fort. All the firewood was wet and the food supplies were extremely low. The natives helped the British to dug trenches, but the number grew daily. On Sundays, firing siege to give chance for prayers. In early March 1881, negotiations finally started and on the 21st of March, the garrison marched out of the fort. 95 days after the siege had started. They had done more than anyone could have expected from them. The Colonel Winslow and five officers attended a dinner at the Royal Hotel, giving in their honor. And Colonel Winslow and General Cronier had a drink together while shaking hands across the table. Some days later, the garrison set out for Natal via the Free State. Now there were three major battles that shaped the war, and the one we refer to the most is the one at Mayuba Hill, which ultimately led to the victory for the Boers against the British. And so ended an interesting and unusual episode in the British military history. 
In total, there were 81 casualties, with some names engraved on the monument. The old fort at Potrofstrom was declared a national monument in 1937. Now some might say this is the best preserved fort, but I would like to disagree. The fort at Morabastad near Polokwane is much better preserved, with all the walls still intact and even the foundation of the Transvaal mounted police houses still visible. I have done a video about that fort and I will post the link in the description below. The site is on private property so access to it is a little bit tricky. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.